I'm Anil Kumar and here is question number three from the test paper on combination of functions. The question is, given the graph of f of x equals to ax square plus 3 and g of x equals to bx minus 1, the graph of f of x times g of x passes through the points minus 1, minus 3 and 1, 9. What are the values of a and b respectively? So we are given four choices. You can pause the video, solve the question and then look into my suggestion. Now what you need to do here is first let us find a product of these two functions. That means find p of x which should be equal to f of x times g of x. Correct? Now you can substitute these two points. The points are 1, 9 and minus 1, minus 3. So we have two variables a, a and b using these two points you can find these variables correct so that is how it has to be solved you can now pause the video solve and then check your answer with my solution so let's begin by finding the product of the two functions so p of x is equals to f of x times g of x so we say f of x times g of x right now f of x is given to us is x, x ax square plus 3 times g of x is bx minus 1. So that becomes p of x, the product of these two functions. Now as we know, this function passes through two points. Now my suggestion here is don't expand and simplify. We can work with this equation itself, right? So let us consider first the point 1 and 9. It really means that if x is 1, then p of x is 9. So using this point, we get the equation 9 is equals to 1 for x will give you a here plus 3. 1 for b will give you b minus 1. Correct? If you use the second point, which is minus 1 and minus 3, then what do you get? You will get minus 3 for p of x, the product of the two functions. Minus 1 square becomes plus, so you get a plus 3 here. In this case, minus 1 times b is minus b, minus b minus 1. So you get two equations, correct? So let's call them equation number 1 and 2. To solve for a and b, what we can do is, we can divide equation 1 by equation 2. In that case, we will eliminate a's, right? So when I divide, what do I get? 9 divided by minus 3 is minus 3 a plus 3 a plus 3 cancel out and we get b minus 1 divided by minus b minus 1 right so that is what we get after division now we can cross multiply and solve for b right so let us do that part so once you cross multiply you get minus 3 times minus b minus 1 equals to b minus 1 let's apply the distributive property so plus 3b plus 3 equals to b minus 1 bring the b's together and the constants to the right side so minus 3 minus 1 2b equals to minus 4 or b equals to minus 4 divided by 2 which is minus 2 so b minus 2 is only d we kind of have only one option so that should be the right answer but let us check for the value of a okay so let us substitute b as minus 2 in one of our equations. So let us use equation number 1 which is 9 equals to a plus 3 times b minus 1. Substituting b equals to minus 2 here we get 9 equals to a plus 3 minus 2 minus 1 right. So which is a plus 3 minus 3 equals to 9 dividing 9 by minus 3 what do we get? 9 divided by minus 3 is minus 3. So, get minus 3 equals to a plus 3 or a equals to minus 3 minus 3 which is indeed minus 6, right? So, option D is the right option for you. So, that is how we can solve this question. I like you to go through this once again, try to understand what is product of functions and see how it has been solved. It's kind of interesting. Thank you and all the best.